Okay, this video is about arc length and sector area of a circle. All right, so first let's define these things. Arc length is the length of a piece of the circumference around a circle. I call it the piece of crust on your piece of pizza. Think of a circle as pizza is a circle, right? The crust goes around it, the circumference. So if I'm finding arc length, I'm finding the length of just the piece of crust, just that piece of crust. That's what I'm looking for for arc length. Your units are going to be like inches, centimeters, yards, something not squared or cubed, just to the first power. Sector area is the area of the piece of that circle. Okay, so it's the area, if you want to think of the pizza, think of it as the whole area of that pizza pie. Pizza pie. How many square inches is that piece of pizza? How many square centimeters is that piece of pizza? It's the whole thing. Arc length is just the crust, area is the whole thing. So it is a squared unit because it is calculating area. All right, to calculate arc length, first thing you always want to do is convert the angle to radians if it's given in degrees, okay? The thing, next thing you do is plug the values into the formula. Here's your formula. Why is it S for arc length? I don't know, but it is. So S equals the radius times theta. Theta is the angle of your piece of pizza right here. This is my theta, okay? Think about that. And the radius is the length of the radius, obviously. Okay? But the thing is, theta has to be in radians. It cannot be in degrees. So let's look at this example. So the angle is 240. So here's this 240 degrees. It's a big old slice of pizza. And the radius is 4 inches. Okay? But this is degrees, so I need to convert to radians. So if you remember, 240 to, to convert it to radians, I have to multiply it by pi over, sorry, 180. All right, so if I do that, I get 240 pi over 180. can reduce both of those by 60, and I get 4 pi over 3. There, this is a format of theta I can use in the equation. All right, so now I can plug into my equation. S equals the radius times my theta, 4 pi over 3. So then I just multiply. Remember when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So it's just 16 pi over 3. Now, put a unit on it. This is arc length, so it's just inches, not inches squared or anything else. Now, you can leave your answer like this, or you can put it in decimal form. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it's the same number. 16 pi divided by 3 inches is my answer. Okay, to calculate sector area, same steps. First thing, you better make sure that that angle theta is in radians. Then you plug it into the formula. Look at this formula. A for area is 1 half times theta, my angle, times the radius squared. Okay? All right, so look at this. A sprinkler has a radius of 15 feet and rotates 120 degrees. So here's my roughly 120 degrees, and my radius is 15 feet. I want to know what is the area of that slice of pie. So the first thing I have to do is convert my 120 degrees to radians. Multiply that, 120 pi over 180. Reduce that, I get 2 pi over 3. That's my theta. Now I can plug into the formula. 1 half times theta times my radius squared. Well, the radius is 15. All right, so this is, the twos will cancel here. Um, 15 squared, when you get your calculators, is 225. Pi is still on top, divided by 3. And so then I would type this in the calculator using the pi button and find out exactly what that is. So it would be 235.62 feet squared. Okay, remember it's area, so it's going to be a squared unit. So always make sure you square your unit. All right, for the whisk, I want you to do a sprinkler problem here. The sprinkler has a radius of 6 feet and rotates 150 degrees. Find the area watered. And then answer this question for the whisk. Will the sprinkler be able to cover a yard that is 75 square feet in area? Good luck. See you in class.